I've seen a lot of singers that are climbing on, you know, scaffolding, but never like literally on the balcony behind me. I was like, where the fuck? How did this happen? You know, so do you ever get yourself in trouble? Do you have all you the time. up and stuff and things happen? I get in trouble all the time from venues because I've always looked up to, to Eddie Vedder. Like, and watching those old Pearl Jam videos, he's, he's a madman. And, I, like, I remember watching those as a kid, and I was just like, oh, my God, he's a fucking rock god. And, like, you know, so I've always been inspired by him and, like, the, you know, the punk era. and like, But in a artist. genuine way, you know what I mean? I think that's the well, difference. Yeah, obviously where it's not forced. I feel I, there's so much of performance that people go on, and they think it's a spectacle, and they have to do it because it's something that they need to do. But when it's a genuine part of the performance, and you're like, all right, that makes sense almost. We've always been about the art and the fashion and the music. When I go and see a show, you want to see a visual. You want to, like, something needs to reel you in with the music. Or the music reels you in, and then there's something that keeps you there. And that was our environment growing up in Vegas, you know. Not once did we see a Vegas show where someone was wearing a t-shirt. You go see a show, it's this fucking, the, it's you know, the big costumes and like the crazy lights and it's it's a whole thing to kind of escape your environment. So we, we grew up with that and uh, I feel like a lot of it just kind of synced in, you know, unconsciously, you know.